Okay, we're back now. Uh, this time I'm gonna, we're gonna illustrate the example of a motor. Uh, what we're gonna do, this is using Faraday's law and magnetism and electricity, all the theory behind that comes from there. We're gonna take a simple DC source and it's hooked up to here. And this is connected here. This is a, what's known as a split ring. One side of it here is coming and connecting here. The other side of this is coming and connecting to the other side. And the ring inside, you can see here, it, has, it is split. So every time that we, this turns, every time that it turns, the current changes the direction. And in a sense, this, this uh, causes the, the current to change from DC to AC. So we, we can have a DC source coming and giving a particular voltage and it's changing into AC current. Now, when I put this at a certain voltage and current goes through the wire, it will create a magnet and this magnet will oppose that uh, external magnet. There's an external magnet here and it's gonna start turning. Then of course, if I increase the voltage here, it should start turning faster. Now, if, if I had a way to control the frequency, then we could, we could have also make it turn faster. So this is the principle behind motors. Okay, so now let's turn this on. Okay, so now you can see that's pretty powerful. I have this on eight volts. If I reduce the voltage, you could tell this one even runs on one volt, but one volt, what happens is the frictional effects of the magnet trying to make it stop starts to take over. But with two volts, If I increase the voltage, it's really, really ramping up here. Starting to move. So basically, I'm using electrical energy and magnetic energy, the, the, the magnet and the electricity. I'm using that to convert to mechanical energy. So this is one of the very important principles in physics. And there's a lot of uses of this in, modern, uh, in the modern world. Thank you.